been thinking a lot about this because I was, I was saying to Jack, my dad is 60-ish, but he's very, very out of shape. Very, very out of shape. And I was in um, I was in Indonesia and I was with my girlfriend and we went and we were going white water, water rafting. So we had to go down this really big hill and with all these stairs, it was like 300 meters of stairs. And I remember just thinking, my, my dad wouldn't be able to do this at his age at 60. And I want to be able to go down those stairs when I'm his age, because at the bottom of there was a fun activity with someone I loved. And to think that I'll get to a point in my life where not so far away in the grand scheme of things, um, where I won't be able to go up or down some stairs because I'm 60, um, because of my sort of genetic predisposition as I saw it, was quite was quite sad. But having heard you say that, it's really feels much more like a choice than it is genetics. Yeah, well, we have this, expression in my field, which is that genes load the gun, environment pulls the trigger, right? Some of us have genetic predispositions towards being, you know, more likely to get diabetes or heart disease or this or that or the other. But our great, great, great grandparents in different environments weren't getting these diseases or they were getting them at much, much, much lower frequencies. And it's not because they were dying early. 